Hey guys, this is Matt from Nod Studios, and welcome back! Today, we are going to be playing some more Dwarf Fortress Vanilla version 42.04. Alrighty everybody, welcome back, welcome back. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to start today, but uh, we're just going to kind of roll with things. Ooh, Oozol, pumping out the masterpiece Lurch Crutches, nice! That's sweet. I'd love to have one of those, man. Hey, interesting fact about me. I've never actually broken a bone in my life. Never. Never, ever, ever. I don't know. I just thought you guys should know that. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know if that's bad or good. I think once you, like, break a bone, when it grows back, it's, like, stronger or something like that. I think I heard that somewhere. I don't know how true that is, but... I believe that's how it goes, right? I don't know. What's happening? Why are we getting all these errors? Lost or destroyed item? Oh. What about all the other stuff? Dangerous terrain. Ah, yes. It looks like they're trying to fish down by the waterfall at the edge of the map. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Please don't get swept up, guys. I need you. I need you to build glorious, glorious things for me. And I can't have you dying. I really can't have you dying. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? Hey, yo, y'all know Pokemon Go came out? So, like, go ahead, hit that shit up. Get some Pokemon Go on, man. Like, I've been seeing so many dank memes and shit about Pokemon Go. It's, it's hot. I'm not gonna lie. It's hot. Oh, God, what's happening? No! One of our stray donkey fowls died. No! Oh, oh! Oh! Poor donkey! Poor donkey! <laughs> hey yo, it's like donkey from Shrek! <laughs> Shit! Um, okay. <laughs> I I'm noticing a lot now that a lot of our craft dwarfs are creating masterworked items, which is really, really nice. It's super, super nice. I love that. Oh, damn, look how many rangers we have. Maybe it's time to go ahead and create a sort of ranged slash archer military squad. I think we should definitely do that. Oh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and create an archer military squad. And this is just going to be a very light militia squad. We're not going to have anything too, too serious. So let's just go ahead and go down the list and get anyone who has any sort of marksmanship skills. Thankfully, we have a lot of people that actually qualify for this as well. Competent Mox Dwarf. Go ahead and grab him. Ooh, Unib Legonos Ranger. Competent Marx Dwarf. Great. Not to be confused with Karl Marx. We talk about marksmanship, not Mark Karl. Okay, stop! Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Uh, it's a Saturday, so I'm going pretty crazy, as y'all can tell. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have ten Marx Dwarfs, though. So that way we can get a completely full squad. Oh, no, is that it? Oh, we have a novice Marx Dwarf right there. Oh, I think that's it. Hmm. We might have to assign someone who doesn't have... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, sweet. So we do have enough Dwarfs for a full-on squad. That's great. That is freaking amazing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and edit their schedule. Now, I only want these guys on a very, very light training schedule due to the fact that most of them are actually hunters, thus why they actually have marksmanship skills. So they are going to get training, and they will keep their skills from actually hunting. So we don't need to have too much of an excessive schedule in terms of training here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is edit this order and change the amount of soldiers to two. And then we're going to copy this. And we'll just have a few days out of the year where our guys will train. So let's just go ahead and get rid of everything completely. So we'll just have like a schedule like that. So we'll have three training months out of the whole entire year, and only two people will be required to attend those training sessions at a time. And I believe that is really all we need to do. 
Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. What I would like to go ahead and do is give this guy a specialized name. And this is just a personal thing that I love to do. But I just love to give my nobles specialized names for some odd reason. Don't ask me why. It just it helps me when I'm looking through the unit list and trying to find them. Because if you guys have ever watched the series, you know that I'm not a big fan of using Dwarf Therapist. I like to just navigate using the Dwarf Fortress integrated menus like in the actual game. I don't like going to external things like Dwarf Therapist unless I absolutely have to. So, this is really good for me. So, Sarvesh, we are going to name him Commander Sarvesh. There we go. Sweet. And it's really as simple as that. <laughs> uh, but that's all I really wanted to do. So, yeah. Awesome. Now, let's see. Do we have any beds that we can place down? Because I noticed that we have quite a few more bedrooms that are dug out, which don't actually have beds in them currently. And yes, we do indeed have beds, so I'm going to go ahead and place these bad boys down inside of these empty dormitories. We'll go ahead and get everything all filled up. Ah, we need one more bed, and we need a ton of doors as well. We'll get those eventually. I believe we have multiple job orders out on doors right now. Indeed we do, indeed we do. All right, coolio. We do need to actually make a barracks, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it on my main layer, like right here. I mean, we certainly probably have the space for it if we want to. Mm. Yeah, we could have a sort of like dojo over here on top. A very small... Oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is a horrifying sound effect. But yeah, we can go ahead and have like a little training room up here if we want to. And then have a barracks right next to it. I mean, why not? We have the space. We're only having a 100 dwarf fortress anyways. So we don't need that much space in terms of, you know, housing our dwarves. So there we go. That'll just be a small little training room. Perfect. Awesome. And then right next to that, I'll have a dormitory. Or dormitory? <laughs> what? Uh, we're going to have a dormitory slash barracks right here. So there we go. Now, this doesn't need to be too big by any means. Just big enough to house a few squads, and that's all. We will create other barracks as well. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and do that. Now, I am noticing that we have an absolute shit ton of of uh, people without jobs right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just go around and assign stone detailing to a lot of people. Because this will keep our guys busy. And we need everything on this layer to be smoothed when we are all done. So this is definitely going to help out with that process. And stone detailing definitely takes one of the lower priorities, so they can just go ahead and detail whenever they are ready. So yeah, there we go. Awesome. Things are going really, really great for us. I'm, I'm really proud of the fort right now. So let's go ahead and place down some more eating areas. Oops. Went a little bit too big on that. <laughs> That's all right. We could go ahead and change it. By the way, I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I'm having an amazing day, so you should be having an amazing day as well. It's just a really, really great Saturday. The temperature is cool, and usually when I'm recording, it's really, really hot in my room because it is currently summer at the time of recording this video. So as you can imagine, it does get pretty hot. And I do live in upstate New York, so it also gets really, really humid, which is one of the things that I actually hate about New York summers. Like if it was like an Arizona dry, it's not necessarily hot, but when it's like a humid New York summer, it's really, really hot and sticky and disgusting. And it's just really annoying. I just hate it. I hate the way New York summers are just so humid. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you for telling me it is autumn. Hmm. I appreciate the dating. Yes. <laughs> all right. So there we go. We got that other bed for that dormitory right there placed down and all good to go. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, 
our order for 30 beds to be constructed has been completed. We might need another small order of construct beds. Let's see. Yeah, construct bed. I'm just going to do 30 for right now. And then any excess beds that we end up having, we can just go ahead and trade away. I'm not sure how valuable they actually are, though. Their weight might overweigh their actual value. Oh, we got a doggy! Sarvesh has grown up to become a dog. Awesome. Rakust has become an engraver. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of dwarves doing engraving work right now. And who is this? A bookbinder. Wow, the dwarf skin for bookbinders is rather extravagant. I do very much enjoy that skin. That is really cool. Awesome. You enjoy that, man. You enjoy that. I'm really excited to actually get our engraving gardens and statue gardens all put up. That's going to be very, very interesting to say the least. This fortress is going to look so sexy once we get everything all smoothed out. I mean, it's already looking fantastic. I mean, just look at this little area right here. Looks freaking amazing. I'm really excited for it, guys. I really am. Now, I want to see how our sort of aqueduct system is going for right now. I believe we are good to go ahead and turn on the pumps. Except our well isn't exactly how I want it. Like it's doing this weird... Oh! What's happening? An outpost liaison has arrived from the mountain homes. Alright. Sweet. Cool. Let's go ahead and get our trader over here then. And get some goods moved in to the uh, trading depot. Awesome. So let's just go ahead and get rid of some of this dwarven ale. And dwarven beer. Beer. Jesus Christ, man. Beer. My tongue. It just ran away today. Jesus Christ. So yeah, there we go. I mean, we have enough drinks, right? 441. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. We can trade away a little bit of our drinks. We can also get rid of some of these plants as well while we're at it. I'm going to also create another order for some rock barrels. Rock barrels. <laughs> you can't make rock barrels in this game, or at least I don't think you can. Uh, wooden barrels is what I mean. There we go. So we'll construct 30 wooden barrels. You might be able to make rock barrels in masterwork. I'm not exactly sure, though. But we aren't playing with any mods this time around. This is just a vanilla game, which I'm not too sad about. I actually really like vanilla dwarf fortress. It's really fun. But anyways, what else can we trade to these guys? Hmm. We could try and trade them some of our wooden shields. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Wooden shields are actually a really great item to trade. Especially if you have someone capable of making masterworked ones. They are really, really worth it. Speaking of that, we should set up another order for some wooden shields to be made. We'll set up 30 there. Sweet! Awesome. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey! It looks like our dwarves got right on chopping down those trees. Amazing, amazing. There is another tree right here, though, that we are going to have to get rid of. But other than that, we are great. Now, let's see. What did I need? They have diorite. Okay, let's go ahead and continue making the floor out of diorite, then. Sweet! So there we go. Select diorite. Put down some more diorite. There we go. Hmm. Where'd the diorite go? <laughs> Not seeing it. There it is. It's all the way on the bottom. So yeah, our outside fortress is actually coming along really, really nicely. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want any of that shit made out of wood. We need it all made out of rock. Yeah, there we go.
Place down some more floors. Boom. Now let's see, how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So then we just need to go ahead and make the wall go up like this. And we are good. I believe these walls are made out of marble, but let me just... Yeah, they are. All right, sweet. I just wanted to go ahead and make sure. It's been quite some time since I have picked up Dwarf Fortress. So there we go. And of course, a wall will go right in the middle there. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put it like that. And let's see. We'll make that out of marble. And then we're going to want a ramp right next to that. And we'll make that out of marble as well. And there we go. All right, sweet. So we can go ahead and continue designating floors to be built. Alrighty, so there we go. That takes care of the floor situation for our outside fort. Or at least for the inside portion of the outside fort. So that's good. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward. And our mountain home liaison wants to talk to us. Ooh, a few months ago, Erib Whipdells became... Uh, let's see. Ooh, God, my, my, my recording HUD is over that. Let me go ahead and switch it. There we go. Okay, I apologize for that. Uh, a few months ago, Erib Whipdells became mayor of the Cloister of Sitting. Replacing Kib Earth Ages. Months ago, Zahn Chamber Floors became mayor of the Furnaces of Wilting. Replacing Erdem Spray Lash. <laughs> that is a hilariously good last name. I like it. Months ago, Lorbam Sling Chaos became mayor of the Sculpted George. Replacing Thob Magsinet. Or Magic Net, my bad. It's cool. So I guess they just got a little bit of gossip going on there. Cool. So I'm going to request a little bit of leather, of course, and some silk as well. We're definitely going to want some metal bars, so I'll get some iron, some gold. Um, we could go search for some uh, bronze as well, and some steel. I'm not sure if we'll be able to afford steel just yet, though, because that is quite expensive. And we'll request some maces, spears, and short swords. And we can request some bolts as well. And some breastplates. Those are always good to have. Some togas, vests, cloaks. All of that good stuff. Some helms. What about pets? Are there any pets, possibly, that we could want? Hmm. Actually, getting some water buffalo might not be a bad idea, but I would like to get a bigger grazing area established, especially a grazing area underground established before I go ahead and buy some pets. So I'm not going to request any animals this run, uh, this, uh, fucking Jesus Christ. I cannot talk, but I'm not going to request any animals this time around. So that we go. Um, in terms of ale or stuff like that, we're not going to request any of that. Um, we can request some cheese. We'll request some sugar. And let's see. Anything else? Hmm. We can request some thread. We might actually be in some need of that very soon. Flasks, no. Not of particular interest. Eggs? Eh, I suppose we could request some eggs. Why not? Bags? I'll take some bags. We can make our own bags, though. I'll request some yarn. And I believe that's really all we need. Yes, that should do it. All right. Great. Awesome. So, of course, all of those things are going to be more available, but they will be charged a little bit more. That's all right. Those are the things that we want, so I am fine with paying a little bit more. Oh, these guys want ash? Why the fuck do they want ash? They want toys, legwear, crutches. Okay, wow. They want crutches? Cheese. Yeah, they're in some dire need of cheese. Damn. All right, well, let's go ahead and make some wooden crutches then. So that way we can trade them next time they come around. Damn. I didn't think they were going to be that valuable. Jesus, man. <laughs> That's awesome that they're that valuable, though. That's really, really awesome. 
All right, so I've got to be careful which armors I am selecting because I do only want to sell my shields for right now. And there are certain things that I don't want to sell, of course, that are in my armor stockpile. Just get rid of all these shields. And then sell all of our plants and ale. Alrighty, perfect, perfect. Now let's see, what do we want to get from these guys? I'm going to go for some bronze bars. Because those are really, really cheap. We'll go for some iron bars as well. Hmm. I'm tempted to go for those villain bars, but I don't know how useful they're going to be. So I'm going to kind of steal, steal. <sighs> my tongue, it's not working, I swear. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a swig of water real quick. Hopefully that'll loosen up my tongue muscles. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What else do these guys have to offer us? Water skin? Eh, I guess I'll take one of those since it's so goddamn cheap. What else? What else? Ooh, a silver short sword. Hmm. A bismuth bronze pick? No. I'll pick up this iron pick right here. An iron spear. I'll take that as well. A bismuth bronze short sword, I'll take that. A bronze male shirt, I'll definitely take that. And a bismuth bronze breastplate, nice. Sweet, so these guys actually have quite a decent amount of military equipment for us. So that's really, really nice. An iron helm, I'll definitely take that. I'll take the copper helm as well. I'm also tempted to take this steel shield right here, but it is very expensive. And I want to see what else these guys have to offer. Well, we'll have it traded on for right now. And then if we see something that we like, we can always come back and unmark it. <laughs> so there we go. We'll get some of this leather, of course. Glorious, glorious leather. Man, spider silk cloth is really expensive. We'll grab this leather barrel. That's all really cheap leather, so I'll take it. Another cheap-ass leather barrel right here. Take that as well. Yeah, man. The leather that they're bringing is actually really, really cheap, which is super nice for me, actually. All right, so I think that should be a good trade. Let's see. Ah, yes, and they are pleased with the trading. We probably could have gotten a little bit more out of that, but it's all right. It's fine. We got what we needed out of it. That's really nice. I'm actually really glad that they brought so much military equipment with them because we really do need that stuff. So. Oh, God. What's happening? Don't bombard me with sound effects like that game. They suspended construction of a floor. Why? Uh, why? Why you do that? Do not do that. Uh, might have been because there were, like, logs or something over them. It's a very real... Oh, shit. Did I just cancel those? Oh, I didn't want to cancel those. Yeah, let's go ahead and replace those down. Damn it. I meant to just get rid of their thingy-ma-boobers, but <laughs> I didn't. All right. Well, there we go. What the hell is that? Life with sounded gate? Huh? Okay, this is really interesting. Is this an artifact? Basic value 330. Okay, so it's definitely not an artifact. A rose gold bound codex. Oh, okay, so it's a book of some sort? This is a rose gold bound codex. The written portion consists of a 131-page guide entitled Life with Sounded Gate, authored by Unib Bristlebrass. It concerns the Helix Sound Gate. The writing is quite self-indulgent. <laughs> Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. So it is a, a book. That's really cool. It's made out of rose gold. Or it's bounded out of it, at least. Damn. I thought that was going to be something much more extravagant, but 
cool nonetheless. Very cool. We'll definitely have to dabble some more in bookmaking and whatnot. We'll have to erect a very, very large library for our dwarves. That'll be very cool. Of course, we have bookshelves right here. Are there any books in these yet, though? Bookcase, bookcase. Yeah, there's nothing really in them, though. Alrighty, so really quickly, I want to go ahead and deal with this well right here. And like I stated previously, our dwarves do not seem to mine out the inner area of this top portion. So what I want to go ahead and do really quickly is just make a, a floor. A floor, yeah. A floor should do it, I believe. Yes. Locked. Maybe we need to set up a floor like that. Huh. Maybe we should do something like that then? I think if we just place a floor like that, it should be fine. I don't know, that seems a little bit excessive for right now, though. Alright, so I think if we just place a little floor right there, they should be able to walk out, right? And then start channeling all of that. Because I believe that was the problem. Is they just can't channel all of this stuff, so there's just like a huge shit rock standing there, you know what I mean? If we did have cave-ins on, this would probably cave in. But we don't have cave-ins on because I freaking hate them. I can't be bothered to actually plan out pillars and shit like that. No, no, no. Cannot be trusted with shit like that. Nope. They are using the diorite down here, though. A lot of our dwarves are. Oh, what do we got? Oh no, a dwarf has been possessed! A furnace operator! Oh boy, what is he gonna claim? He claimed a mechanics workshop. Alrighty, well let's see what he has to offer. Hopefully he has all of the items that he needs. <laughs> okay. I love that sound effect, it's fucking great. Alrighty, well I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my office over here. So I'm just gonna place down some chairs, of course. Just like that. And I don't think we'll have enough to cover this wall. <laughs> we are going to have quite a few chairs, if you can already tell. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to have chairs right there. And then we're going to have two tables. And then we'll have chairs on the other side. And that'll pretty much be our office. I think I'm going to put in some coffers and cabinets over here. But other than that, that's really going to be our office. We don't need something really, really extravagant and special. We just need something that has chairs and tables. I believe all the mayor needs, yeah, just the decent office, so that should more than satisfy that need. And we can also place in some statues on the edges as well, just to bump up the value of the room once we are done. And of course, all of it is going to be smoothed out, so that'll definitely help out with the overall value of the room. Do we actually have any containers right now, though? No, we do not. Alrighty. It's a little bit depressing, but we can wait. We can wait for our dwarfs to buildy buildy. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, please be sure to leave a like, please be sure to comment, and please, please, please subscribe. Everything helps out, and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!